Like at one part, I know you and Mike got apart. Wait, why? Why did they have like? It wasn't a parting ways. It was more like a. I needed to venture off on my own and try to build my own brand. Why? Wow. You can work with somebody for so long, but they can only do so much. And time is something you can't waste. I understand. Yeah, he's a man. He got to worry about himself and his family. But at the same time, I'm not gonna sit there and just. It's not bad. I'm not gonna sit there and say, hey. I feel like you're not putting enough effort and time in me if I'm not showing you that. So if I've showed you that and then you're just telling me, okay, give me a second, I gotta get this together, then I'm gonna feel like, okay, maybe it's not him, it's me. I need to pull back, get myself together and build on my own and try to see what I can do from there. And we've had talks, we have talks every day. And he tells me consistently, you're doing, get the right thing, just keep on going. So I um like Watching him go up big and like, how did that motivate you watching him get big and bigger and stuff like that? Yeah, it's like, I'm not gonna say motivating, it's like, you just steady. Yeah, it's motivating because you see the shit he has and see the shit he can do, but if you gotta bring yourself, you can, and you study and you learn, you can take what you learn from somebody else and incorporate it in your own style and way, and you can build. That's what, that's what we're doing here. So you made a diss song about him? Like, how did they grow about like you made okay, a diss so song? Okay, so this song wasn't even it wasn't even directly generally toward him at first. He just jumped in that smoke before, because it was really for Rooney and his room crew because they always talking noise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please <laughs> talking that shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 So why, why he got beef with Ruku? Um, uh, it started out with a, a fella by the name of Ruku Banks always talking that hot shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And another one by the name of Ruku Chris. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know, I said, if you feel like you're going to say something, let me, let me talk my shit, Ruku. Let me pop my shit. And then I was like, um, I know somebody going to say something else. So whenever somebody decides to say something, oh, it's already popping. But I had a few people call my phone like, so what we doing? Well, if you feel like the shoe fits well, but know this, when I hit up the block with the paintballs, I don't want to hear no talking. <laughs> and this is for Nick too. If she feel like she won't get it, I got some females with her and any female up on that side. Oh, oh. Who? Who? anybody. I got yeah. Murder, yeah. Bad Kid, J. Yeah. 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 They call him Murder Bay. No age. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> this beef ain't got no age. Look, we YouTubers. Anybody can get it. I'm sitting here getting it for real. That's funny, man, bro. That's a, yeah, that's, and that's what you don't see a lot, a lot of times on YouTube. It's like it became a corporate. Too many people trying to make overdo it. You got to have fun with it. I mean, that's, what trying, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what we're trying to do, get back to having just fun with it. Instead of just saying, hey, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. No, we're going to have fun with it. So, like, what's some things that keep you motivated and keep you going? Like, Getting up in the morning, just, I, yeah, I got, I get up in the morning and I be like, fuck, something got to change, something got to shake, so it's time to get up and get it. I have my days when I don't want to do something, but then shit. It's something that I always make me want to do better. So like, um, you don't plan on having any kids or nothing like that? Like, you ain't gonna have no kids. kids. I ain't got no kids. I'm on 25, no kids. I'm team FTK, fuck them kids. <laughs> oh, man. Why you feel like that? It's not, it's not a bad, I'm not saying it's a bad way, but you can't take care of a kid if you can't take care of yourself. You're not financially stable enough at that at a point yet, and why waste it? Because you're just gonna struggle more. That's a big responsibility in it. And then you gotta start shit. Look over here. You don't want you with your baby mama to be a crazy retarded bitch. <laughs> or a burning bitch. <laughs> mama, a baby mama drama, then you gotta go whoop her brother ass and put a sweat on him. <laughs> now you locked up. You can't see your baby because this bitch can't come down. What is he talking about? He just said how, them movies have, how yeah. some of them movies had no women. And then, like you said, some of them movies had no women. You been just put it in there, the next thing you be can pull it out and be like hot sauce. God damn, bitch, you been burning. <laughs> <laughs> you, ever, you ever been burnt before? That uh, shit, no. <laughs> so my, right. my grease pile is a nine. Nah, bitch. Hey, <laughs> right, man. A bitch, bitch burnt me. She might want to talk to Jesus. Oh. <laughs> now, your arrangements are going to be baby. So, like, uh, like, how does that, like, do sometimes you feel like you don't want to be famous no more? Like, like, do you get tired of being famous or something? Like, Sometimes you wish you up there, like you walk in the store or something, mall or go get something. You know it's a good feeling, and it's uh, it's a good feeling actually, because you got a lot of people who look up to you and actually want to do the same thing you want to do that you're doing. So 
it's a it's never really a downside. The only downside is if you decide you just want to go out and have fun and you're not feeling like it's not a work day, it's always gonna be a work day because you got fans everywhere you go. Somewhere, somewhere. You might not know it. You can pop up and walk like, oh hey that's wings. That's, and you know you got five people people trying to take pictures with you like fuck. Like what was the situation where you went somewhere that they like that they overcrowded you like just Mall. That mall when we were trying to shop. Oh yeah. And yeah, what happened? Like, explain like what it happened. It was just me and him. I think it was for what it was for. We were trying to, I think, a video. Yeah. Was like a time limit. And we just went in there. We said we're gonna be five minutes an hour. She turned into 15, 20 minutes. I think 20 or 30 minutes. It was just me and him. I think he was with us. No. It was, you was you know, job. It was just me. You were running on merch. Yeah, we were running. No, that day I got this merch. Jazzy was with us. Yeah, you. That was a different day. Oh. Yeah, that day was a little quiet in the mall. Thank God. So like, how'd your mom feel about you like blowing up and so like, what was something she thinks she was like, you know what I'm saying, saying to you, like, as you was she blowing up? I mean, you know, my mom was like, hey, if it's your dream, you can find me, baby. Just don't disrespect me, because I was, I, I brought you in, but I take you out. But now my mom was very happy and proud of it, proud of it. She still is to this day. So like, uh, how do you feel about like the kids these days? They follow behind the violence, the gun violence, and all that. They don't want to just get some money and stay out the way. And so, how do you feel about that? I mean, they listen to this music, and they whenever they hear rappers for rapping their music, they be like, "Oh, I guess they do it in real life, so why not?" It's, they make it seem cool. They make it seem like they're not getting in trouble for it. In reality, there's consequences behind every action, good or bad. The music is a representation of that person. So, people just gotta be more careful about what they're rapping about. If you're rapping about putting switches and going to nine to 10 years, kids gonna think, oh, that's, 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 that's fun. Now, if you're rapping about. <laughs> it's not fun, right? Now, if you're rapping about, oh, we finna have a big water fight, we give it back to the homeless, oh, they're gonna think that's. they gonna eventually, in this generation, it's gonna take time, but if you rap about it enough, or say it enough, or do it enough, they're gonna eventually, okay, that's the right path, that's the way I wanna go. But, like, Nobody want to hear this. Like, 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 if somebody do rap, right, nobody want to hear that. They ain't gonna listen to it no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we we like the killer music and stuff. You know, like, I don't live the lifestyle, but I like hearing killer music. But I don't, I ain't go pick up a game with killer. I don't read it. Unless what? Unless, unless young boy posted Chief Key for a future or somebody big like that. Because it's it's a repetitive yeah. thing. It's something that's been drilled and repeat and played repeatedly over the years. So the cycle it'll take years before that cycle get broke. Mm-hmm. 